you'll see down the bottom corner on channel 2 you'll see that we've got um, 2.1 volts that's the voltage across the um, AVEC potential coils this is the output voltage through to this little globe um, now if I take off the coils or take, take off the load off the coils and short it I still get the same effect so I still get another about a, in between a volt to a volt and a half roughly um, across that that light um, but I still get the same so that, that's with the dead short that's the dead short there but if I put the load on I get the same effect as well the difference is that I get two volts I, I guess I probably want to talk about the tuning as much as anything else um, <clears throat> with the tuning on this device the the tuning at least to get it to the stage where it where it starts showing you this effect uh, you, do, you do need a load on this coil to to at least start the movement in the core um, for example if, if I focus on our little bulb down here, I'll stick it up against there so you can see it's a bit brighter. Um, now if I take the take the load off over here, you can see that that goes. I end up with 17 volts across the coil. My input drops right down to six six milliamp or 600 milliamps input, um, but I've got no output at all on any of the coils. So, so to make this work, and that's actually the wave across the um, across the A vector potential coils as well, which is interesting to see that. So connected, not connected, connected, not connected.